Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss about like how to get the XRD peaks and theoretically calculated XRD peaks in Visual Studio. So first step will be, first you have to design a material, then optimize that material at the optimum level. You can use Demol 3, you can use Castap, you can use Foresight, any module you use depending on your complexity of your material. Suppose I am having a graphene lattice, so uh, it's a small two atom unit cell, so I can use Castap, I can use Demol 3 based on our like the quality of result I Just for timing because I don't have much time to you know do uh, like everything live. So I'll use Foresight module to optimize or relax this seat. Already this seat is optimized. Still I'll use this Foresight module. And here I will select optimize cell and the quality I'll take ultra fine. And I will use compass to and ultra fine and here I'll keep everything intact. Okay. So I have 12 cores, I'll be giving 12 cores of the structure, okay. Once you have done with this, calculation is done. So it will take fraction of time and this calculation will be over. That's why I'm using this for set module just for timing, so that I'll be able to give you the analysis for the this, uh, XRD pattern for the specific geometry. So you can take any material, not the graphene lattice itself, you can take any kind of material, it can be 2D, it can be 3D, and you can get the theoretical calculator XRD patterns. So our geometry is done. So now we proceed for the XRD calculation or XRD pattern for this specific. Fine. Okay, now what we have to do is um, we'll go to the modules, and in modules you can see that reflex. Right? In this reflex module, we have to click on the pattern processing. Here you can select with what kind of pattern you want. Generally, we'll take default. Don't do any changes here. Go to the reflex. Click on the powder uh, deflection. Fine. The powder deflection, you just select your whatever way you want to present and click on the calculate. And here you'll be getting peaks, right? That is the uh, here in the left side, in the y-axis you have intensity, in the x-axis you are having the 2 theta value, right? And you are having a peak over here. You can uh, remove this, uh, observe reflections, and you can have nice XRD, right? So in this way you can get the uh, XRD peaks uh, using this Metal Studio, and you can calculate it. And these are the corresponding uh, peaks available for this 2 theta value. Try with the, yourself and if you have any doubt, just put it in the comment box. Thank you for watching the video.